So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the crops that you can put in and plant while there are still cool temperatures. In fact, sometimes you can even do it right after a snow. I know it's so hard in the springtime when we're waiting for those temperatures to be warm enough to put in all of our tomatoes and our peppers and the whole regular vegetable garden, but there are some crops that you can put in the ground in the early spring when temperatures are still low that are going to grow and give you that head start and actually perform better and are gonna grow for you better and give you a better harvest if you get them in when it's cool. My name is Melissa K. Norris and I wanna welcome you so much to this video. And if growing your own food, especially as close to year round as you can get is something you're interested in, let me know that below in the comments and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you hit subscribe so you are notified when we sit, put out a new video every Wednesday here on YouTube that helps you live a homegrown and handmade life. So there's some vegetables that you can plant and you can direct sow, which means simply taking the seed and plopping it right in the soil and they're going to grow before you start to get warm. One of the things that you need to know about when you're planting your plants is when you're talking warm weather crops, generally speaking, those warm weather crops, the soil temperature, so not just the outside temperature in the air, but the actual soil temperature that they're going in needs to be at least 60 degrees Fahrenheit before those seeds will start to germinate and grow, which germination simply means that the seed begins to sprout and begins to grow into a plant. And the warmer the temperature, especially for things like peppers and tomatoes, if you've got the soil temp that's 75, even up to 80 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit, then the higher germination rate you're going to have. So that means if you plant 10 seeds, a 100% germination rate would be all 10 of those seeds would sprout and grow. So in those cooler temperatures, a lot of times you won't have as high germination rate. So maybe only half of them would start to grow. Now, when we're talking cooler weather plants, some of them you can put in the ground when the soil temperature, they will begin to germinate at only 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So very early in the spring when the ground is obviously not frozen because if it's frozen hard, one, it's not 40 degrees Fahrenheit, and two, you can't begin to work the soil. But there are some crops that they will begin to germinate at 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, the lower the temperature range, it goes from 40 degrees Fahrenheit for these crops. It can go all the way up to 65, but 40 degrees, they'll start to germinate, but the warmer it is, so once you start to hit 50 degrees and even 60 degrees during the day on those soil temps, you're gonna have a higher germination rate. But you can put in radishes, beets, onions, garlic, kale, snow peas, and carrots and all of those will begin to grow. I should say on your garlic and your onions, it's not the garlic and onion seeds, but your sets. You can begin to put those out in the early springtime as well. And garlic typically, you're gonna be planting in the fall and then it's gonna go through the frost in the winter and it goes into hibernation and comes back in the springtime. But as far as direct sowing, you can do, like I said, your radishes, kale, carrots, snow peas and your beets and get those going when the temperatures are cold. And specifically, your radishes will do really well in those cooler temps. They're the first seeds that we put down. Now, as I said, you can put carrots in by seed, just lightly sow them on the top, barely cover them with any soil when you have these cooler temperatures and they will start to grow. And these carrots here are actually from last year. So last fall, I planted these carrots and they just barely start growing before we started to get the really cold frost and then lots of rain and snow. But the great thing is about putting some of the crops in in the fall is in the early spring, when you're still having those really cool temperatures, these cool weather crops like the carrots, they'll just pick right back up growing again. So these have been growing really well for about the past month. And not only are their tops growing, but the carrot itself is growing too. And I actually need to thin those ones out. But you can see how long this carrot is and how well it's growing. And that was right up next to another one and I need to thin it. So I can actually start harvesting these as baby carrots right now and thinning them out and letting the rest of them grow. So if you would like to have more help and guidance and direction with it put out for you step by step on what plants can be planted when, so the seasonal planting guide, 
I have created it just for you. It walks you through by your gardening zone and when to start seeds, when to plant them outdoors and what you can begin planting and when you should put it in so that you have got it. You don't have to do the research or look things up. It's all laid out for you by your gardening zone month by month by month that takes you through the entire year. So you can be harvesting carrots in early spring that you planted last fall and know exactly when to get them in the ground where you live. So make sure that you check the description below and click on that link and you can get your free guide to my seasonal planning and planting guide. If you've got any questions below and you've enjoyed this video about sowing and growing things in cool weather, let me know in the comments and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.